Tonight's little mini teardown is this um, neat enough looking little uh, LED nightlight from China. Um, the box suggests it's available in a few different varieties and it's a shame we couldn't find this one. It looks quite nice. It's got the little pattern lens to project uh, out the front. Oh, actually it's got English and I didn't realise it had English text. Product characteristics. This product's bright lamp hour surface show red orchid green three kind of colour colour beauty full. This product's longevity long power power bow can do long bright small night lamp. This product's operating tension 160 to 250 AC. Well at least I got the voltage right. That's some of the worst chinglish I've seen in a long time. But anyway I've plugged this in and it flickers. It's really annoying. It it shimmers um, almost like it's the LEDs are being driven half wave. So um, let's take it a bit and see what's inside. Um, the shimmer was so pronounced that it's not even like it was a capacitive dropper that was unsmoothed. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, there is a capacitor. A very small capacitor. Two resistors, a capacitor, and three LEDs. Um, what value is the capacitor? That's very small text. Point one. Microphone guessing is 100 nano at 100 volts. That can't be right because because the peak mains voltage is 300 volts. So that well, it certainly is a very small capacitor. Ooh, right, okay. And the circuitry, um, we've got uh, one lead coming in to actually. I'll draw this down. Let's get a bit of paper. So we've got one lead coming in, say live, um, and it's going straight to a resistor, which is 330 ohms. I'm right upside down, so it may look a bit weird. Um, from there, it goes to. Oh, right, okay. They've got. Uh, one LED in that polarity and two LEDs in that polarity, which means that they're probably going to be alternating backwards and forwards and that's what the flicker was. So one pair of light in each half of the mains waveform. Um, then the LEDs go down rather predictably because there's not really anywhere else they can go to the capacitor. neutral and there's a resistor across that to stop people going to be tingle off the plug and they've chosen grey, red, yellow 820 820 uh, K yeah ok and this is 100 nano at 100 volts, that's not really enough. Oh well, at least this can act as a fuse. And that appears to be it, which is why it looked so horrible and flickery. There's no light sense or anything, it really is just the absolute minimum possible, and maybe just a wee bit too minimum possible, that they could have done with this. Um, what a shame, because otherwise it could have been quite nice, but it, it's not nice. It's actually quite an ugly and badly designed little light. Well, there you go.